Hello guys, welcome back to Best Science in Reality. Today we are going to handle ordinal data. Let me say, we are going to handle data which requires chi-square, whereby we need to put our accounts to analyze, to check, or test for the abundance. And I'm having this example which is involving freshwater snails which I collected for the study and it's varying within the two sites so i'm having site a and site b and i'm going to use mainly four genera that is biomflaria pira beramia and bullion so we are go i'm going to feel i'm going to show you how these results or how to put accounts into chi square but i'm using a software called spss here we go so i go to the variable view Select variable view. After selecting variable view, in one I'm going to put, I'm going to type there site, typing site, can you click outside. Then this is, is nominal because the names. Then I'm going to I go to values and go to values, select one. One is going to represent site. Site A, like that, I click on Add. Then 2, because I said we are having two sites, it's going to represent Site B, like that. Then I type, click on OK. Then when I come here, so this is where I'm going to put the snail species. Snail species like that click outside then you come here to measures this is that they are going to be ordinal because we are having some variation which can be ordinal so then what i'm going to label here one is going to represent genus of biomflaria biomflaria snails like that click add to it's going to represent pillar then three is going to represent beramia then finally four is going to represent bullions so you have to label your your attributes you are, you are go, you want to enter then you click ok so when I come to data view, okay, so here, according to the number of times how these snails are appearing in site A, that's how I'm going to fill my results. So remember, I labeled site 1 to add to B1. So you can see, because I have, I will go, you can go to value labels. So you see 1 is representing site Presenting site A, actually, you can come and edit this. The decimals, because these are living organisms, you cannot have a decimal that 1.5. No, 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 it cannot happen. So what I, what happens here? So since I have in site A, I have 40 species of Biomflaria, so it means site one should appear 40 times here. So I have to put one 40 times a, like even here 140 times but this is going to look very tiresome guys so what i do the you right click you copy then you drag up to 40 yeah there then you paste when you paste the same figure is going to appear there and when you come to value label it's going to show that this is site a okay so now what happens also here remember Remember, even by we said by Omphalia, it is the one which is appearing those 40 times, and I labeled by Omphalia species to be one. Go here, you can see that in site A, I'm having by Omphalia species of snails. So, even I'm going to do the same right click, copy, then you are going, I'm going to drag and paste this value 40 times there okay there it comes 
Then I have another species of pillar, but it is in the same site. So, and pillar we are having, they are 35. So it means if they are 35, what you do, you copy. And if you are here at 40, so you are going to add more species of pillar which are 35. So it means you are going to say 35 plus 40, and it's going to be 75. So you drag this up to 75 or you keep adding 1 1 75 times so here 75 you copy like that so now what will happen remember i have remember uh, it, this is for for peter and i labeled peter to be 2 so i come here i put 2 okay so you copy because you don't want to do much of the manual by yourself so you can just use this simple technology yeah you drag then you can paste okay so i'm having two hope you can see what's happening so there i'm having peter peter then up there you can see i'm having also biomfly starting from there so I, I i go like that so now i can move this so now i'm having also another species of beramia and beramia is existing only 20 times and beramia is 3 since it is existing 20 times what i'm going to say here remember this is one this one represents site this one represents site a so i shouldn't confuse it with these ones actually so remember these ones are counts this one means that you counted one species of beramia though i'm labeling it to be two doesn't mean that you collected two to two per site no it means you collected one but this is just something which can distinguish it from the other so now like in site in site one i collected beramia to, they were 20 so what i'm going to say 20 plus 75 and it's going to be 95 so i'm going to copy one i paste it up to up to 95 there paste okay and what then i'm going to fill this value also there 70 i mean 20 times there we go so now i'm left with only a one species that is bullinus and bullinus we said it is four and bullinus is existing 15 times so since there are 15 times so 15 plus 95 is going to be 110 so i'm going to drag yeah there I copy then this i'm going to do the same to this figure here like that then i'm going to paste okay so it means now i'm done with site a so we are there so you can see this is bullinus this is Beramia in site A, all of them are in site A. So remember, I also have another site that is site 2. Site 2. So when I put these two here, doesn't mean the other. Let me say the same interpretation is not the same for for these two. I was feeling here for to to represent Peter. Actually, this is far different. The other and remember what you labeled is the one which is going to appear this side. So remember now. For the side of site 2, I have Peter, sorry, I have Bionflaria, I collected 15 Bionflaria snails. So and Bionflaria said it is, I labeled it as 1. So what will happen is that it means I'm going to, so this is what it's going to mean. So it means what I'm going to do is that I, I remember the other ones were 110 okay now this one seems is because it's exceeding we say it should end at 110 when this is two so this is one sorry so what i was saying that by on flat i collected 15 snails from site two so if there are 15 what i'm going to do is that i'm going to add 110 plus 15 and it means i should drag up to 120 five and this is what i'm going to do copy then when i reach to 125 i'll celebrate 
so 125 there paste so and I'm feeling there one so I'm going to copy one paste it everywhere so like that then I collected 40 species of pillar so if there are 40 it means it's going to be 125 plus 40 and I should end at 165 so I'm going to copy 2 2 then paste it up to 165 and for Peter Peter I coded it as 2 so this is 2 I can copy this 2 actually I can also copy from down going upwards like that so you make sure you don't paste it where you have where you have other values yeah there we are so I'm now remaining with only two species that is bolinus and Bellamia. so Bellamia I collected 30 and Bellamia is 3 so what I'm going to do is 165 plus 30 which is 195 so I'm going to copy this two this three sorry what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this three then I paste it up to 195 195 there so remember this is two because it means site two so you copy it even upwards like that and I'm remaining with only one one species that is bullinus and bullinus I collected only seven of them so what I'm going to do I have remember I ended at 195 then plus seven and I have to draw to 102 so I'm going to copy this four up to 102 there okay then i'm going to fill this two up to there so now i'm done with filling my my data for chi square into spss so you can come to value label like that then what i'm remaining with remember these accounts i want to know whether they are they were significantly valid within all these sites that is site a and site b and this freshwater snail species i collected but remember this can also be a questionnaire which you are analyzing, which we shall cover next time. So what you do, you go to analyze. So you come and select non-parametric test. Then you go to legacy dialogues. You select chi-square. After selecting chi-square, so chi-square is going to display as it displays this dialog box. So what you do, you highlight all of the contents. So you make them to enter into the test variables. So you go to options, you select descriptives. Select descriptives. My computer is fusing. So you select descriptives. So then you press OK. So it is going to compute and give us something which we are going to base on to judge whether these snails are varying significantly within the sites all these or let me say whether we have significant abundance of these freshwater snails from wherever we collected them from that is site a and site b so as it is computing yeah the output is ready here and what we are interested in it is this test chi square test this one here so chi square test after computing the expected frequency with the observed frequency so it is giving us that the chi square the chi square it is 28.376 at a degree of freedom of 3 and it's giving us a sig or a p value of 0 0.000 so it means that there was a significant variation or significant yeah abundance of these freshwater snails and they were varying significantly since the p-value here which is got it is below 0 0.05 so we can say that these snails 
the x let me say they were varying significantly within site a and site b yeah and guys you can just right click this and you copy and take it anyway so guys i hope you've enjoyed the lesson so feel free to subscribe to best science in reality